We now choose the correct sine law which is used to determine the sine length d of this triangle. So for this we are going to use the sine law which states that uh, in a triangle ABC the sine of angle A over the sine length A equals sine of angle B over the sine length B uh, equals sine of angle C over the sine length C. So suppose if we use this uh, relation that is uh, sine A over A equals sine B over B and if we have to determine any one unknown side length, let's suppose that we have to determine B, then we need to know at least uh, two angles and as well as uh, one side length. So here in this triangle, to determine uh, the distance D, that is a side length D, we should know two angles as well as uh, one side length. And in this triangle, we are already given this one side length, which is a 14 meter. Uh, however, we are not given the two side lengths. So basically, we have to first determine the two angles so that uh, it will help us to determine the uh, side length D. Let's see how to determine those two uh, angles of this uh, triangle. So first, uh, I'm going to determine this angle. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, we have been given this exterior angle that is this angle equals at 10 degree and this angle equals 65 degree and we also know that this complete angle that is when we start from this point to this point uh, this complete angle equals 180 degree so therefore we can determine this angle uh, this is equivalent to 180 minus of sum of these two angles that is 10 plus 65 degree so I write down 10 plus 65 degree. So this gives 180 minus of 10 plus 65 is 75 degree. So 180 minus 75 degree is 105 degree. So we have just determined that uh, this angle equals 105 degree. So I have marked this angle as 105 degree. Now we will see how to find this uh, angle. So for this, uh, I'm going to drop a perpendicular line starting from this vertex. So now we can see that uh, this forms a, a right triangle. So in this, uh, we know that this angle is uh, 65 degree and this angle is uh, perpendicular, which is equal to 90 degree. So therefore we can determine this angle. This angle is going to be 180 minus of uh, sum of these two angles that is 65 plus 90 degree because the sum of interior angles in a triangle is 180 uh, 180 degree so therefore one of the angle must be 180 minus sum of the other two angles so let's calculate this this will be 180 degree minus of uh, 65 plus uh, 90 is uh, 155 degree and 180 degree minus 155 degree equals 25 degree so we write uh, 25 degree this means uh, we have found out this angle as 25 degree so we can now find uh, this angle uh, as we know that uh, this is a horizontal and uh, this is a perpendicular which means uh, this complete angle is going to be 90 degree and we already given this uh, one of the exterior angle to the triangle as 30 degree and we have also found out this angle to be the, uh, 25 degree so the missing angle or the one of the angle inside the triangle will be 90 minus of sum of these two exterior angles so i write down 90 minus of 30 degree that is uh, this angle plus uh, this angle so 30 plus 25 degree so this gives 90 degree minus of 30 plus 25 is uh, 55 degree and uh, 90 minus 45 equals uh, 35 degree so therefore the angle inside the triangle is 35 degree so here i have marked this uh, 35 degree uh, so we know the two angles of this triangle uh, let's also find the third angle uh, this could be the appropriate angle that we can use it to uh, determine the side length d so that we can use the sine law so we can determine this uh, uh, third angle of this triangle uh, this is going to be 180 degrees minus of sum of the other two angles that is 105 plus uh, 35 degree 
105 plus 35 degree is 140 degree. So this becomes 180 degree minus 140 degree. And this is 40 degree. So we have determined that this angle is equal to 40 degree. So now we are going to use the sine law to determine the uh, side length D. As we can notice from the sine law, if you take uh, uh, the sine of any angle, suppose if you take the sine of this uh, angle A, then we have to uh, divide it by the side length opposite to angle A. And similarly, if we take the, and that is equal to sine of uh, any other angle, that is uh, if we take this uh, angle B, uh, it should be divided by the side opposite to the uh, angle B. So which means uh, we have to uh, use the appropriate angle so that we determine the side length D. So here I cannot use this uh, 35 degree, that is sine of 35 degree I cannot use because uh, I am not sure or uh, the side length is not known. So I can use these two angles, that is uh, sine of 40 degree as plus uh, sine of 105 degree. So when I use sine of 40 degree, the opposite side length is D, which is what I have to determine, so I can use it. And when I use this uh, sine of 105 degree, the side length opposite to uh, this uh, angle is 14 meter, which is a known quantity. So I can use uh, uh, the sine law as like this. So I'm going to write down sine of 40 degree over the side opposite to the 40 degree, which is equal to D. And this equals a sine of 105 degree and divided by the side length opposite to 105 degree, which is a 14 meter. So I just write down this as 14. Now we can do the cross multiply. So when you do the cross multiply, this becomes 14 times of a sine of 40 degree. And this equals D times of sine of 105 degree. So we have now determined the correct sine law, which is used to determine the side length D. That is 14 sine 40 degree equals D sine 105 degree. And this means option E is correct.